Has this ever happened to you? You just spent an hour and a half scrolling out a freehand heart, or perhaps an aircraft, on the scroll saw, and you're so happy. So you take your newly created item over to your sanding area, placing it down, ready to sand with it, when all of a sudden, This was not an actual scroll saw emergency. It was only for demonstration purposes. No fretwork was harmed in the making of this video either. <laughs> Seriously though, we've got a simple, easy tip for you today. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use drawer liner roll. This is Craftsman brand. And it's designed for tool chests. This stuff is amazing. And we're gonna build us a little uh, setup to where if we want a belt sand, we can, but a lot of times if you bear down with a belt sander on fretwork, you can snap the inside pieces. If you have a light touch and a, and a, and a, and a small belt sander, you can do that. But mainly what we're gonna do is use it for palm sanding. But we're gonna keep stuff from vibrating, and this is gonna do just the thing. I just love this idea. <laughs> Now the first thing that we did is we cut down a piece of plywood. We're going to take that plywood and on top of it we're going to roll out some of that drawer, drawer liner just like so and flush it up. Why look, I just found furring strips with pre-drilled holes. You want to countersink some holes into your furring strips once you've marked them off and cut them down to the size of the plywood and now we'll attach it. Okay, so I've got some one and a quarter uh, wood screws and we're going to use these furring strips just to clamp down our liner. That's good, not going anywhere now. The next step, this is easy peasy here. We're not even going to measure this stuff. We're just going to set this up right on the edge of the plywood and do our other side. I'm not going all the way around this. We've got an air compressor and we'll be able to blow out our sawdust by leaving the uh, middles undone. We can just lift up and, and blow them right out. Now we get to play. Ah, shoot. Ow. Dang. With sharp blades. What did you do? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Make sure that you're being very careful when you use sharp blades. Now I've got a nice sharp X-Acto knife and we're just going to go ahead and take off all of the uh, excess around the plywood. All right. Make sure you get a nice firm hold here. Never mind. All I need to do now is just take it off right along the edge and we'll have us a sanding pad. There we go. Now I'm going to be able to lift this thing up and get in with an air, air hose and blow it out. But it should do the trick. Now we saw earlier how easy this thing flew off. Let's see how this does now, even with a belt sander. Didn't move a bit, look at that. Let's try something a little more intricate, huh? The wood grain goes like this. You always want to go with a belt sander with the grain. Pretty good, huh? You don't have to put any hands on the work this way also, which is very nice. Now the main thing that I'm gonna use this for is palm sanding. And palm sanding is a lot easier on, on the work than a big old belt sander is. 
And when I'm actually sanding fragile fretwork, I put the sander on the piece and then turn it on. There we go. Boy, this is just the trick. And the nice thing is it only took a few minutes to put together just using some uh, scraps that we had around the shop, some plywood, the furring strips, and we went down to our local Ace Hardware and got the drawer liners. But look at there, you can just pick the thing up nice and easy. You can put it out of the way, still have your counter available there, and it's not going anywhere. So if you're having issues with either sanding fretwork or any other sanding project and you need an extra pair of hands, give the drawer liners a try. I think you'll be happy with them. If this thing's moving on you, you can just uh, slap a clamp on it on your countertop and get it done that way too. Guys, Ray Knight 71, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.